God bless you for watching. Let's go, seven Apostle David Owusu bringing you a word for today. I know without a shadow of doubt that you're going to get blessed today tremendously. Today we are turning evil verdict. Any evil verdict, whatever they said against your life, we are turning it by the power of the Holy Ghost. And every evil verdict shall be overturned. Through prayer and fasting, we are going to overturn every evil verdict. What is it that they have said concerning your life? We are overturning the evil verdicts. Overturn evil verdicts. Overturn evil verdicts. Overturn evil verdicts. Overturn evil verdicts. Overturn. Overturn every evil verdict by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I don't know what has been told, what the enemy has written concerning your life. It's anything that the enemy has spoken concerning your life that is not from the Lord. Today we will overturn, we will overturn, we will approve. What is a verdict? What is a verdict? A verdict is a decision on an issue. A verdict is a decision on an issue. When a decision is made on a certain matter, it is seen as a verdict on a civil matter or a criminal matter. When a decision is made on a certain matter, it it is seen as a verdict or a, or a verdict can be seen as an opinion or a judgment. For instance, you that is watching me right now, maybe the witches in your family have decided you shall never get married. That is the verdict they have declared. Maybe you that is watching me right now, that there is a demonic verdict that says you will not prosper this year. That is a verdict. Some of you, maybe the people that are around you have decided that you shall never prosper. That is an evil verdict. Maybe even your own mother, your own father, your uncle, your brother, your sister, someone around you has made a verdict to say you, your life will be stagnated. That is an evil verdict. Maybe before your father died, he he took you to a certain evil altar and made a sacrifice and said, all my daughters, I have married them spiritually and for that matter, they are not supposed to get married. That is an evil verdict. It was said, it was declared. Maybe people have said for you, you will never get a good job. You are always going to go around in circles. That is an evil verdict. Maybe it has been declared upon your life that this thing called money, money, you shall never have. It is an evil verdict. Maybe people declared a verdict in your family and said, women in your family, either you don't get married. If you get married, you don't have children. That is an evil verdict. None of you have got children. Maybe the evil verdict is the fact that your children are supposed to give you problems. Listen to me. One of the things you need to understand is that it is an evil verdict. It is not something that suits well with you. It is not something that you can assimilate, accept, move on with it. Aduya Masete. Hey, today I come as God's prophets and God's spokesman to declare upon your family whatever evil verdict that has been spoken upon the family today I reverse by the mandate of Jehovah God listen to me every one of you you need to understand today my eyes are red I am so 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 serious my eyes are red it's white but it is red in the spirit in the sense that i am so so serious we are going to overturn evil verdicts who told you you never get married who told you your life is supposed to be going around in circles who told you that contract is not supposed to come to you who said you are supposed to remain stagnated like this 
today our prayers are simple any evil verdict that has been released upon your life your mother you know a verdict is a decision that has been made it has been or uh, it has been sanctioned it has already been made look at your life you are getting to the age of setting you are getting to 50 but your life does there is nothing good you can write home about with your life your life is so stagnated today i am going to teach you how by fasting and prayer you can overturn evil verdicts listen to listen to me even when jehovah god himself when jehovah god himself set a law in scripture when God himself set a law in scripture that women are not supposed to inherit, in the book of Numbers chapter 27, even God's own verdict, Jehovah God, the one that created the universe, the I am that I am, God himself's own verdict was overthrown by the daughters of Zelophehad. The daughters of Zelophehad rose up and said, Moses, what this? what is this thing you are telling us? That because our father did not give birth to a son, we cannot inherit listen to me one day according to the laws of god god had instituted in his law that if your father it is only the sons of a man that were supposed to inherit the sons of a man so if for instance i give birth now i have got two sons one daughter all my property my daughter would not share have a share in it it is for the sons to enjoy but listen one imagine i I gave birth to daughters and and the daughters so my property will have to be given to someone my brother's sons that was the law god said i don't know how god made it that way but that was the law god said that was a verdict a decree a law instituted not by the witches in your family not by the witches in israel by the by jehovah god himself but can i tell you women rose up and said ah moses the Bible says, let me read it for you. I'm reading from the New Living Translation version of the Bible. One day, a petition was presented by the daughters of Zelophehad. Machla, Noah, God, let me just skip, and, and, and verse 3, let me skip to verse 3 for the sake of time. It says, our father died in the wilderness, they said. He was not among the, among chorus followers who rebelled against the Lord. He died because of his own sin, but he had no son. Why should the name of our father disappear from his clan? Just because he had no sons. Give us property along with the rest of our relatives. So Moses brought the case before the Lord. And the Lord replied, Moses, the claim of the daughters of Zelophehad is legitimate. You must give them a grant of the land according to their father's relatives. Assign them the property that you that you would have given to their father. Listen to me. According to the law, God had already said, no woman should inherit, but the daughters of Zerophehad said, we will change this verdict. verdict. Maybe the law said, you that is watching me, maybe you are not supposed to prosper. That is a law. I don't know what God has said concerning your life. Even if it is said you are not supposed to get married, Maduka Badua Kapa, you can reverse the law. You can reverse if the law of Jehovah was reversed, revoked, was rendered was rendered was made incapacitated by women who were ready to take the bull by the horn i'm telling you i don't know what has been said in your own family i don't know what has been written against you who said you cannot prosper who said you are supposed to die like this this who said you know arise who said who told you listen it is written in the scriptures daughters of zelophehad rose 
Ghost and change the laws in the scripture. Madu maha yake te ya basukata mesi kibriantos. Hey, I speak as a prophet. Any woman, man, daughter, child watching me today, any evil verdict spoken against you by the witches in your family, you reverse, you render that verdict powerless. Maduya mahadia katosa. I don't know who said what against you. Listen to me. Today my eyes are red. It is so, so dangerous and so, so, so. You need to rise up and tell yourself this evil verdict will not stand in my family. Who's, you know, excuse me, watch this. Maybe it's an evil, evil verdict that has been written that none of you is supposed to marry. Even if you marry, you don't have children. So you are married, no children. Maybe there is, an, there is a verdict in your family. It's an evil verdict that no one is supposed to break through. Your life is going through in circles. There is a verdict in your family that people are supposed to die of diabetes or hypertension or whatever disease, prostate cancer these days. Men are dying of prostate cancer. The devil is a liar. Listen, that is the verdict of men. That is what, what man has instituted. That was what men instituted. If even the verdict of Elohim, Jehovah God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who sits on the second of the universe the one who created you and i if his own verdict could be reversed by man Madoya Kate, i came to speak to you to declare to you if you can connect with me this month and next month in this fasting that we are about to pray we are going to turn evil verdicts every negative verdict upon your life we, you know if 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 man's if God's ways could be reversed, tell yourself that, you know what? There is nothing about me that I cannot do. There is no place you cannot achieve. There is no level you cannot get to. There is nothing. Tell you, you you've got to decide. Imagine God sent a prophet to tell a man, you are going to die. And the man said, Papa God, you know what? I'm not dying right now. I'm not dying. I, I, I have served you too well to die. And God changed it. Today, I came to tell you, any verdict of sicknesses in your family, any verdict of premature death, verdict of poverty, Verdict of of, of, of of frustration, bad marriage, any evil verdict in your family. Iye maha masu kate iki du mahanda braswanta. Today I speak as God's oracle, God's servant over your life. Every satanic verdict, we overturn, we overrule, we render them useless. Every evil verdict from the witches in your village, every evil verdict against your life, every evil verdict against your mother. Tanta Maswan di Brianto Tosha Brantata Masuka Pate Be I Maswatata I Grande de Behente Ey Rachel I Professor, every evil verdict against your husband, I reverse it. Lucy, every evil verdict against your life, I reverse every satanic verdict against your marriage, faith, against your destiny. We command every evil verdict. I stand in the authority invested on me as God's chosen oracle. And I declare, Madu Pata is Listen to me. When the doctors tell you you are dying, tell them you are not dying. When the doctors tell you you know, when somebody tells you you not get mad, tell them you will. Because listen, when God Himself set a law in the scriptures and said that certain things are not supposed to happen, women could rise up and change the laws of God. It is in scripture. Women rose up and reversed all the things that God himself has spoken. Women, women, can I tell you something? You need to be ready to reverse it.
You need to be ready to reverse whatever has been spoken. Whatever they said. Whatever evil verdict that has you know what why is it that there are some things that has been said upon your family you have accepted it and it has become a verdict it has become a decision made by someone there is a verdict that was declared against your mother a verdict that was declared against your brother a verdict that was declared upon your own life you have been married you are never happy you, you, you know you are you are working you are never sustained you every time you are broke you understand every time things are not working you know you are looking for a job no job seems to be coming your way it is an evil verdict that has possibly been declared upon your life but today i stand, stand as god's oracle and i stand as his spokesman and i declare over your life every satanic verdict made upon your life me God we break the hold of satanic verdicts. We break the hold of satanic verdicts. Every satanic verdict spoken against your life. Every satanic verdict made against your mother. Every satanic verdict made against your father. Every satanic verdict made against your brother. Every satanic verdict in your family that has said no woman should get married. And if they get married, they married, they will not have children. Today, on the basis of the word of God, we break that evil verdict. We cancel that evil verdict by fire. We destroy every satanic verdict that was spoken upon your life. In the name of Jesus, Gloria, we break every satanic verdict upon your children, upon your husband, any evil verdict upon your life, Jane. We nullify, we break. Margaret, any evil verdict upon your life against your marriage, Today I stand in defiance as a prophet and I declare, let that evil verdict by fire. Every evil verdict. A verdict is a decision that has been made. Look at you. You, you, you. you have come to accept it. That looking at your life, you don't think you will ever prosper. Listen, you have come to accept it. That looking at your life, you don't think you will ever make it. You have come to accept it. That looking at your life, you this America, you never go. You, you have come to accept it. That looking at your life, you have given up on your children. These children, they are wasted. That there is nothing that can be done. The devil is a liar. Whoever made that verdict, whoever said you will not prosper, whoever said you will not rise, whoever said you will not ascend, whoever said that you will not move forward, today, Mika do, Hadia Mase, Prondos Kabran Tata, Iyayayabasata, today I prophet, prophesy, let every satanic verdict, let every evil verdict, made of upon your life, made upon your children, made upon your mother, made upon your father, made upon your career, every satanic verdict. Today I reverse. Today I reverse. I overrule. I overturn. I cancel. In the name of Jesus. 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 Now listen to me. Let me get into scripture. The daughters of Zelophehad overruled the evil verdicts. God himself has said the law. God, Jehovah God, the creator of the universe, has said no woman should inherit. But women rose up. These particular women said, we will not accept this norm. It has become a norm. We will not accept it. No, we, we have to do something about this thing. Can I tell you something? You know, in my language, we say, if a baba is shaving your hair and you don't speak concerning the way he's shaving you, he may give you a bad haircut. Listen to me. Sometimes some things may be going on in your life. You don't like it. You've got to rise up and say hey, enough is enough. Something got to be done. You know, you, you must speak when you've got to speak. You, you know, don't stand there. Uh, look at me. I'm 42. At this rate, I don't think I will get married. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm 35. I'm still jobless. I don't think anything good will come. That is an evil verdict. Listen to Today we stand in defiance at Todo Bokate. Every evil verdict, we command, let it backfire.
Listen. <clears throat> we are about to pray. If the daughters of Zelophehad change the evil verdict from that day, they did not just change the law for themselves, they changed the law for the entire Israel from that day and give the following instructions verse 8 numbers chapter 27 verse 8 now after god has told moses to give them the land god now said give the following instruction to the people of israel if a man dies and he has no son then give his inheritance to his daughters can i tell you sir from that day there was a new law in israel concerning inheritance because certain women certain daughters rose up madu kabaya certain four daughters of zelophea rose up and said we will not sit down what certain five ladies sorry rose up and said something has to be done about us can i tell you when you rise up and you prayerfully reverse the evil verdict in your family everybody in your family will get blessed listen to me some of the things you are going through right now, it is an evil verdict that was declared maybe from three or four generations before. No woman in your family gets married. If they get married, if daddy is paid, then they don't prosper. They don't have children. It has been a cycle. You just came to meet it. It is not your problem. You know, there is an evil verdict that has been declared. No woman prospers. You know, look at your life. Look at how beautiful you are. Compare yourself to that other lady down the road. She's got a beautiful home. Nice children you with all your beauty men come only to use you and dump you and you think it is natural why is somebody not beautiful than you can have a home nice children nice family you with all your beauty with all your nice figure all your body shape and your attacking force and defense mechanism still you are still where you are listen listen look at your certificate you have certificates bigger than this bible some of you, your CV is so big, bigger than a whole notebook, but still, nothing good is coming out of your certificates and your degrees. Listen to me, it is an evil verdict, but listen, when you stand up in prayer and you rise up to counter the evil verdict, what happens is that you are able to permanently break that cycle, not only from your life, but also from your family. Can I prophesy today? I stand as a prophet. And I declare every satanic verdict in your father's house. We reverse, 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 we reverse in the name of Jesus. People go to school but they don't get jobs. It is an evil verdict. Kadua Mahanta. Listen to me. Look at me as you are watching me right now. I want you to send this broadcast to your brother, that sister, that cousin. Share it. Host a watch party and even tag your family members in it. Let them start the pray and get breakthroughs so that their lives will change. Connect with this broadcast. Let your brother, your sister, that man that you need, that need, let them watch. We are about to pray. God willing, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to use, I'm going to teach you how fasting and prayer can break evil verdict. Tomorrow night is going to be fire for fire. We're going to study Esther chapter 4. How Esther, when Mordecai wanted to destroy all the Jews, Esther said to Mordecai, sorry, sorry, when Haman wanted to destroy and kill all the Jews, Esther said to Haman, Esther said to Haman, go and gather the Jews and fast and pray. Excuse me. And I will fast and pray with my maidens. And uh, if I go to the and I will go to the king, if I perish, I perish. Haman wanted to kill the entire Jews in the province of Ken Ahasuerus. Haman wanted to kill all the Jews. 
but because Esther engaged in fasting and prayer, remember the king had already given a verdict that all the Jews were to be killed. I don't know who has said what about your family. Maybe it has been told by a certain witch, witch doctor in Tanzania that nobody in your family is to get married. Maybe it has been told, it has been said that you should never go to America. Maybe it has been said that you should never advance. Maybe it was written that no one should live in the diaspora. You all should, all of you should have remained in the village in somewhere in Accra, Ghana or somewhere in Nairobi or somewhere. So you have traveled and you are suffering. You have traveled and things are hard. Maybe you are the firstborn and that and the curse of the first moon is upon your life. I don't know who cursed you. I don't even care who his or her name is. Today, the word of God made me understand if the daughters of Zelophehad in Numbers chapter 27 could reverse, overturn a verdict that God, God himself had put in place. There is no demonic verdict that cannot be overturned. Every evil verdict that has been placed upon your life, today I overturn it. Today I overturn. Today I overturn. Today I overturn. Today I overturn. Today I overturn in the name of Jesus. We are about to pray. Kada baya baya. We are about to pray. We are about to pray. We are about to pray. I want you to share the broker. We are taking our first prayer point. Tomorrow I'm going to deal, continue on this particular subject. Uh, we are uh, overturning evil verdicts. We are overturning evil verdicts place listen we are taking our first prayer point you are praying for yourself and for your family you are telling yourself you are praying for yourself you are saying that oh lord any evil verdict anything that people have said on my life that i will never get married today i overturn it any evil verdict that has been said upon my family favorite kemani today you are declaring any kanini any evil verdict that has been spoken upon your life you are praying today let it be overturned let it be overruled. Any satanic verdict by the mandate of Jehovah, you overrule, you overturn, you abort it right now. Lift up your voice and let's pray. Madoska Bahatea, Matudi Bikapa, Rapatoska Brantaba. We overturn every evil verdict. We overturn every evil verdict. We overturn every evil verdict. Maduya Paea, Atonobo Kapa. Ratada brashanda bantaba, a padua ka padua kapa, a terere de boska brantabaya, a padua skabran terere de boska pa, a padaba shwanda rabata. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. We overturn every satanic vendetta by the power of the Holy Ghost. We stand in prayer. And we declare in the name of Jesus, let every satanic verdict be overruled and be overturned by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, O oh God, we overturn every evil verdict concerning everyone that is watching me right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we overrule the verdict. We overrule the verdict. We overrule the verita. Lift up your voice and pray. Mazuka Bahaya. Raboshka Brantapa. Atono Boshapea. Ia Padua Kaduante. Ia Patusi Bihanta. Eya Basuka Pante. Eya Basuka Pante. Eya Basuka Pante. Tedebe Pedua Kapa. Rebebe Kabrantaba. We overturn, we overturn. We overturn, we overturn. We overturn, we overturn. We overturn, we overturn. Every evil vegeta by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mazuya Tetea. Aduska Bandi Bikapa. Rabado. Kibrianta, a tono bosapa, a tono bosapa, every satanic verdict concerning your marriage, every satanic verdict.
concerning your children every satanic reddit concerning your prosperity every satanic reddit concerning your family every evil reddit today we overrule 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 kabeya hate kabeya hate atodua kapandua kabrantete ipatus kapantepe epretos kabrante ipatos kapa hate Suleiman, I speak over your life, Suleiman. May every evil verdict be overturned in the name of Jesus. Any curse they placed upon your marriage, any curse they placed upon your children, any curse they placed upon your career. Today I speak as God's servant and I declare in the name of Jesus, let that evil verdict backfire, let it be nullified, let it be averted. My those kapa hatiye matosi robo kabrante te pedia kabranda bantaya pede be pede be pe iye ye bo shata rapa padua kabranta ba rapa pede be kabranta ba ya i padua kabra shata apa da ba pa iwa kapa today we reverse we overturn we overrule every satanic vendetta we overturn every satanic vendetta. Hey Madusa, katene behata, ropo duski biantes, e patudu du kapante. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Today we declare, let every satanic verdict, let it backfire, 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 let it backfire. In the name of Jesus. I stand prophetically and I declare over your life let every evil verdict let it backfire whoever that spoke an evil verdict upon your children whoever that spoke an evil verdict upon your child whoever that spoke an evil verdict upon your family whoever spoke evil verdict upon the work of your hands whoever spoke a curse upon your Business to today, Mika dua pa Roboski bianta tante Pede beka brandi bika pa Rabasi kete de behanda ya Rande de bosha tante Masuka branta tua kabranta tuanta Prente dua kabrante tuante Pedi ya kabrante tuanta Payoske ya yante te Ipa pa 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 ya kabranta pa Prentos kebre Somebody lift up your voice. We command let the evil verdict backfire. 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 We stand prophetically. Hey, Yatos, Diana, I speak over your life in the name of Jesus. Every satanic verdict upon your house, in your house, today we reverse, we overcome, we overcome. A rule in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. One of the things you need to understand right here could be changed. The law he God himself put in place that women were not supposed to inherit. If his own law could be reversed, there is no law, no curse that cannot be broken. I don't know who cursed you. Ah, man of God, my pastor cursed me. Forget it. Which curse? He's not even powerful to even curse you in the first place. Listen to me and listen good. That every evil verdict that has been placed upon your life, you reverse it by fire. You reverse every satanic verdict. You reverse. Come on, begin to pray. Any curse your uncle whoever today you stand in defiance you reverse it lift up your voice and let's pray mazuka baya raboska brantaba rapada boska brantaba rabada braska brantaba shwanda brantaba hika padua kapra shanda bataya hika paraba shabaraba shanda ba rababa shanda ba ima todo boska ba repede beka branta 
Iman toro do bos cabranta. Repe de pe de be capantaya. Iman toro do bos sibianta. Rebebebe kadudi bi kapa. Rebebebe kadudi bi kapa. Rebebebe kadudi bi kapa. Rebebebe kadudi bi kapa. I padu di bi kabando ro bosh kabaya. I padu ashes. Today we reverse the curse. 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 Any satanic verdict upon your life. Today we reverse it. Today we reverse it. Today we reverse it. He matodo boshatea, ha pados kerere boskapa, rapa papa dua kabra shanta, he matodo boskabranta, in the name of Jesus, in the evil verdict, today we decree and declare by the mandate of Jehovah, let it be reversed. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Mazuya Badusa. Ike debo shabanta baya, rapa pada brashanda baswanta tanda branta ba, rapa pada be kabrashanda baswanta ika. Apara bashwana da brashanda baya, apara bashwana da brashata, akora paya pa, apaiwa kapaya pa, apaiwa kabrashanda de la boska branta pa, raba bashwana da branta baya, ika para bashanta, jacinta, I reverse every evil verdict upon your life, judy every satanic verdict, place upon you by your ex husband, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. John, I prophesy every satanic verdict upon your life is reversed. Every satanic verdict, serum, I speak over your life, Sheila. Every satanic verdict upon your life, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. Nancy Tamaklo, every satanic verdict placed upon your family, placed upon your life by the mandate of Elohim, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. We reverse every satanic verdict, we reverse every satanic verdict in Bia. I speak that let the satanic verdict in your family be reversed. Let every evil that they have said in a satanic way they spoke concerning your life. I stand as a prophet and I reverse it by fire. I reverse it by fire. I reverse it by fire. Madoyo Kopose, me to the Bikapa, Rabba Baba Bashwana Rabra Shante, Epede Bekabadu Wakabante, Epede Bekabadu Wakabante, Epede Bekabadu Wakabante, Yebo. Shanda baya, rapa pere pere brianta ba, rapa pere brianta ba, rapa pere brianta ba, rapa pere brianta ba, rapa pere brianta ba, apa apa wa, atarara ba sha. Somebody pray. We reverse the curse. We reverse every evil verdict. Whatever satanic verdict, whatever they said, it's a verdict, it's a spoken curse they said upon your life. It's a spoken curse your ex-husband said upon your life. It's a spoken curse your former pastor said upon your life. It's a spoken curse some woman spoke upon your life. Hey, I reverse. Mika Duna Masianta Tanta, let their words be null and void. I stand as a superior voice and I render their words powerless in the name of Jesus. Whether it was your mother or your father, your uncle or your brother, your husband or your, your aunt, today I stand as a superior voice, as an oracle of Elohim, and I declare, let the veil, let the voice be null and void. In the name of Jesus. God bless you for watching this God's servant apostle David Owusu. I want you to know God is still in the miracle working business. Any evil word they spoke against your life, I stand as a superior voice and I reverse. Listen to me. If the care, if God's own words in the Bible, God God said no no woman should inherit. If Jehovah's own words could be reversed in Numbers chapter 27. By women, women who were ready to fight for what belongs to them, women who said to themselves, We deserve better, 
they had the mandate and the audacity to go to Moses to change the ways that God, the law, what God had already declared in the law. God has said that women should not inherit their fathers. But now these five daughters of Zelophehad went to Moses and said, is, is it so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That women should not inherit. For us, we will inherit. They went to God and God changed the laws in the entire Israel. Can I tell you something? Today, by your prayer, God will change whatever was declared concerning your mother. God will change whatever was declared concerning your father. God will change whatever was declared concerning your marriage. You know, some of you, it is sinking into your head that maybe you are not supposed to get married. It is a lie from the day, from the period. Even if it is so, according to scripture, those things can't be changed. Those uh, verdicts can be changed. Those laws can be changed. What are you talking about? Today we are standing in prayer. And you know, by prayer, I eat prayer, I drink prayer, I sleep prayer. I know prayer can change things. You are taking a word and you are declaring in prayer that every evil verdict against your life, every evil word that has been spoken, whoever said it, Maybe you, you, you turn down a certain man and he cursed you from his heart. Maybe a certain man, a certain man spoke curses upon your life. Whatever you declare, let it be reversed. You are speaking an overturn. You are declaring upon your life. You, your children shall get married. You, you shall advance. You, your business shall prosper. Whatever evil verdict it was. You are reversing it right now. You are speaking the opposite. This is what I'm saying. Everyone listen to me. Listen, this is the last but one prayer. Lift up your voice. You are declaring the opposite of what you are seeing in your life. Maybe you are not getting married. You are declaring you are getting married. Maybe they said you are, you are not supposed to financially prosper. You are declaring that you will prosper financially in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that has been said, you are speaking the opposite upon your life. You are declaring that you shall rise to the top. You too, you shall travel to America. You too, financial doors shall open to you. You are declaring, you are speaking prophetically over your life. You are speaking over your career. You are speaking over every aspect of your life that need a turn around. That may there be a shift in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and let's pray. Mazuka Bahaya, Robos Cabrantete, Rebecca Dodobos Cabrantapa, Apados Cabrantabadua Kapa. Lift up your voice and pray. Adodobos Cabrantapa. Every satanic verdict today we overturn, today we overrule in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Makoshea, Hatodo Bokapa, Iman Todo Bosabranta, Rapa Pada Bashuanta Tantaya, Ika Todo Bohapaya, Eya Basutata, Rababada Brantaba. He man toro bo skabran tebele be kapa. He pa ya pa ywa kabra shapa. Ha pa ywa kabra shapa. Ha pa ywa kabra shapa. Today we overturn. Today we overrule. Today we thwart. We render it useless by the power of the Holy Ghost. Any curse placed upon your marriage, any word they spoke against your life, any word they spoke against your family, today I stand in defiance and I declare, let it backfire. But no, 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 shut up. Nelly, I pray for you. Every evil verdict against your destiny, I reverse it. 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 In the name of Jesus, Mazuka Pahaya, Rapa Toskapa, Atede de Bohapa, Rapa Padua Kapa, Atede Bosha. I declare from now, you shall prosper. The work of your hands are blessed. I pronounce blessings to overrule every curse. 
I pronounce good marriage is locating someone that is watching me from Nairobi right now. I speak over your life. Marriage is coming for you. I decree and declare business doors are opening for someone in the name of Jesus. Stagnation is broken from someone in the name of Jesus. Madoka ye basuka padua kabrante. We speak over your finances. May heaven reverse every curse upon your finances. And I declare over the work of your hands, it is blessed, it is favored in the name of Jesus. Makodo Hayea, Hatika Pa, Rabba Boseketeya, Masunda Mahanta. We pray together in the spirit. And I declare from today, Mary in Bugwa, may God remember you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Mona Lisa, may heaven remember you. In the name of Jesus, may favor for good marriage come upon your life. May favor for open doors be released upon your life. Every spirit of going round in cycles, in the name of Jesus, we break, we cancel. So we are born in the name of Jesus. May God remember you. May God remember you. Sophia, may heaven remember you. May heaven remember you. Every one of you that is watching me. I speak upon your life and I declare in the name of Jesus every satanic verdict is reversed every satanic verdict is reversed every satanic verdict is reversed whatever they said you cannot do today I release an anointing upon your life go and do it if they said you never prosper I release an anointing for prosperity upon your life if they said you never get married I reverse that evil word and i said you get married if they said you shall never ascend get i mean rise up to the top in your career i reverse it and i declare in the name of jesus receive grace for your next level in the mighty name of jesus may heaven remember you may god remember you in jesus mighty name i have prayed God bless you. This has been your host, God's servant, Apostle David Owusu. I want you to share this broadcast for me. Let your brother watch this. This is not something you are supposed to keep to yourself. Let somebody also share it so that someone can see and pray along. Listen, if anybody tells you, don't watch this broadcast. The person doesn't want you to move forward. The person doesn't want you to prosper the person doesn't want you to do well ignore them forget them in fact if possible block them because they don't want your welfare listen to me listen to me listen to me i want us to make our last prayer you are praying right now in the name of jesus you are speaking over your family take somebody in your family whose life is not going well that you need a change for them tell I army mean, con con consider someone just focus on someone you want to pray for you are interceding for somebody you are you i want you to intercede for somebody right now you are speaking prophetically over your family members. You are declaring that anything will verdict upon your family members. You will reverse it by fire. Anything, any evil verdict. Let it be reversed. You are declaring that let it be reversed. You are declaring let it be reversed. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Kado Shabaya. Mazuka Branta Tanda Bashuantaba. Rabashuka Dada Boshekitea. Ipa du Sibrianta Tanda Brashantaba. Ika Pada Basuantata. Rapa Pada Basuantatanda Basuantata. Anybody in your family that need a turn around today, we stand in prophet in the ocean of the grace of God, and we stand in prophetic grace, and we stand on the word of God, and we intercede for our family members. Anybody in your family 
whose life is messed, who the enemy is tormenting. Today we pray, Madoska Bayande, Rabba Kushaba, Rabba Kushaba, Rabba Kushaba, Eya Bandiyanta, Ropo Popo Nobo Kabranto, Ika Papa Parabras Kabrantaba, Repe 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 Kabrantaba, Repe Repe Kabrantaba, Repe Repe Kabrantaba, Repe Repe Kabrantaba, Apa Apa Wakash. Rabba bashwa na rabba ta, rabba para brasta, randa be kabranda be 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 kabranda ba, rabba iwa kapa, iye be 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 ha, 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 rabba ya brandi be kabranda ba, rabba ra bras 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 kabranda ba, ipa ya dosh. He piadosh, he piadosh, he piadosh, he piadosh, he piadosh, Rabba Babara Brasanda, Mika Toro Bosca Brandaba, Rapa Brasanda Barabrantaba, Rapa Brasanda. Rabara brantaba, rapara brashanda bara brantaba, rapara brashanda bara brantaba, mika doshwanda daba, rapanda bakoshaba, rapanda bakoshaba, rapanda bakoshaba, rapanda bakoshaba, rapanda bakoshaba, ipa dosiketea, ipa dosiketea, ipa dosiketea, ipa dosiketea, ipa dosiketea, rante de behe, rante de behe, rante de behe, rante de behe. Rante de behe, rante de behe, apaya bashwanda, rapaya bashwanda, iya bashwara da brantaba, apapayo apayo apapayo apa, raba bashwara da brashabanta, in the name of Jesus. I speak over your life. There is somebody watching me. The spirit of the Lord said I should declare over your life right now. You are watching me. You are believing God for a property of your own. You are believing God for a property of your own. You have struggled in renting. You are believing God for a home of your own, a property of your own. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that you are receiving grace by in the year 2020. Grace and favor. Financial blessings are going to be released for you to be able to own your own home i speak over your life right now may that word be fulfilled in your life in the mighty name of jesus there is another lady watching me your sister's name is carol you've got a sister called carol you are uh, you're not you but you your sister is called carol the spirit of the lord is telling me they are in some de- serious darkness nothing seems to be working for her and her children but i hear the spirit of the lord say caro is going to get connected to a certain white man and that white man is going to open great opportunities for caro in fact your sister caro very soon she will travel to she will leave the country and i hear the lord say a certain german man is about to change your sister's life. May that word be fulfilled for your sister Carol in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the Lord is speaking to me right now. There is someone you are watching me. You've got a brother called Martin. Martin is the name of your brother. Your brother's name is called Martin. The Lord is telling me I should speak over your brother Martin because as we speak your brother, it, it, it looks like he's going mental. He drinks so much to a point like he's going mental. The Lord is telling me that you, will, you you need to move him from where he is for the hand of the Lord is about to touch him. You take him to a place where he can be restored from that place because there is a touch that is coming upon him that is about to change his life you are thinking of taking him for a rehab or something like that take that step after that rehab martin will be free and the spirit of the lord will change his life completely i hear the spirit of the lord say i should speak to a certain lady every business you try to do it doesn't work every business you try to do you get good deals but nothing good come out of your deals the lord is telling me today there is the cycle of that cycle of going around and not having breakthrough it is over i hear the spirit of the lord say there is a 
Daddy, you are watching me right now. Your lower, uh, you are having pains in your tummy. Serious pain getting part of your lower abdomen. Serious pains. And it keeps happening. It keeps happening. Today, the Spirit of the Lord said, as we pray, right after prayer and uh, right after this broadcast take oil take oil put it in your hand lay hands on it and decree and make declarations of it that case of sickness in your life it is over say yes the lord the cycle of sickness that keeps repeating in your tummy in your lower abdomen today say yes the lord it is over i speak prophetically in the name of jesus whoever that is watching me that needs a divine breakthrough Today, the Lord says it is going to come through for you without fail in the name of Jesus. There is a certain lady you are watching me, a man, his, his name is called Ibra. Ibra, Ibra. He is, he is, he, he was a Muslim but has converted to become a Christian. The man has started talking to you. You don't, in, don't you look like you are not interested. The spirit of the Lord is telling me, Ibra is the man that is supposed to marry you. This Ibra guy I'm talking about, he is 39 years of age. In fact, he celebrated his last birthday just last week last week friday ibra celebrated his birthday just last week friday he is actually born in this month of october the man has started talking to you and you are you are kind you kind of you don't feel like it because he's got a muslim background the lord is telling me that man is your husband the lord is telling me don't 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 be so stiff for the earth for the lord has prepared that man for you ibra has converted to become a christian and now you are afraid because he's got a background that was muslim I speak over your life and everyone else that is watching me. May God tune your heart to your destiny helper in the name of Jesus. May you, may you not miss your helper in the mighty name of the Lord. Receive a grace that will turn your life around in Jesus name. Amen.